Missing open jumpers. Committing fouls. Something that this Marist team would do all year long and go 1-29. But what if we turn back the clocks, and instead of letting them do this to themselves, we give them hope? In the name of Glizzard Johnson. So, as you can tell from the intro, we will be using the Marist Red Foxes today. Um, here's hoping that adding this absolute beast of a player, who you guys will see in a second, will be able to turn their season around because they definitely need to do better than they actually did. So that player is none other than Glizzard Johnson, seven foot six, ninety nine overall freshman, weighs two hundred seventy five pounds from Canada. The Canadian sensation is going to do his best to come in here and absolutely wreak havoc on these boys. I did forget to mention that we are going to be doing uh, some recruiting as well, um, just because as long as he stays there, it, we're going to stay there and watch his career. But he definitely might need a couple of people to come along, you know, for the journey. But as of right now, I don't really see there being that great of talent to be seen. Do I think that one man is going to be able to absolutely turn this team around? No. But they did go 1-29 this year. So I think that it will definitely be a lot better, um, all things considered. So as you want, if you want to see right here, there he is starting in the lineup. So we'll go ahead and get to our first game of the year, which is against... It's gonna be Washington State, so we'll go ahead and game cast this. Um, I actually think it'll be cool to see, and then we'll go ahead and simulate through and see how he's doing, and see if he wins like Player of the Year. He'll definitely probably win Freshman of the Year, but I only see. I mean, right now he's definitely making a. Are they gonna get their first win of the year with this guy? On the first game of the year, so they're already gonna tie their wins that they would have actually gotten in real life. My man's put up forty six points eighteen rebounds seven assists oh my gosh what are these shooting splits looking like twenty one for twenty eight four for eight from three with eighteen rebounds seven assists only four turnovers five blocks and a steal the seven foot six beast is here and he is ready to turn around the Marist red foxes all right so just saying but uh if you check out these scores right here yo they are seven and oh this one man glizzard Johnson the Canadian sensation has turned them around 41 points he put up if this man isn't the number one player of the year like watch i don't know who would be okay this is his lowest scoring game so far he scored 17 against missouri state looks like he got into a little bit of foul trouble there though i hope i'm not speaking evil into existence but as long as he doesn't get hurt i don't see them doing anything better than honestly probably staying perfect all year they don't really play that many people and he's not even on the national player of the year list bro he's averaging his team is undefeated and he's averaging what he better be an All-American. One of these teams. No? He's on the fresh. He's averaging 35 a game on 10 rebounds and four blocks. Dude, that's ridiculous. That is 100%. Like, that's like Defensive Player of the Year. Like, everything. Goodness gracious. Also forgot to mention that they did win the, uh, I don't know what tournament this was. They won the Anaheim Classic as the seven seed. They were the seventh seed and won the Anaheim Classic. So that's pretty good, too. So they're not going undefeated, uh, as you can tell. They actually suffered two losses, one to Kansas State, who I think is a pretty good school, actually, though, and they only lost by 11. He scored 24 in that game, and then they lost by 13 to Miami once again, another solid school, which he scored 26 in that game. Um, keeping up with his stats so far, is he on this list yet? No. Wow, that is absolutely insane to me. Is he on the MAC? He better be, like, number one for them. Yeah, he is. 31 points a game, though, and his team's 10-2. and two. After another win, has his sights set on player of the year honors. Mm, we'll see. Uh, top 25 polls look kind of like this. Pretty similar to any start of any video. These teams are all, like, pretty much similar. Hopefully he comes back, but if he doesn't, you know, that kind of just ends the video, in all honesty. But we'll see how good he can get Mares to be, because it's obvious already they've they they're well like well ahead of their one in twenty nine record that they would have gone on to have this season just by the addition of Glizzard Johnson. I want to say that the rest of their team might be doing better too because of him. He, they're all right. I, he is the main scorer. Like let's be real here. But he's like ninety nine everything. So I would hope he would be the main scorer. So we're seventeen and six. Not exactly ideal. We did have a lot of losses, but once again, this team is never supposed to be anything. So the fact that they're even competing is just solid to me. Still averaging, he's averaging 34 points and 11 rebounds. Um, I'm wondering if that puts him in contention. Nope. They don't even pay him any mind. That's so crazy to me. That's absolutely nuts to me. Canadian Sensation is doing all this work. Little shameless plug, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be trying to create more of this uh, 
NCAA content. I feel like not a lot of people create a lot of cool content like this, and I think it'd be a really cool idea to just get this game going and just do all kinds of challenges and things like that, such as this one. I also did the Fab Five one. Make sure you guys check that one out. All right, to end off the year, we actually didn't any, end up losing any more games, so we finished off 24-6. and six. Um, We'll go one last check to see, but I don't think, yep. He's not listed up there, which kind of drives me nuts. Um, All-Americans, he's not listed, and he's still not listed. Not all-defensive either, and he's on the all-freshman team. Averaging 33.5 game, 11 rebounds. Three blocks, 1.7, and two steals, and three assists per game, which are solid stats to me. Um, when it comes to the conference tournament, I got a feeling we're number one, but I could be wrong. No, we're number two, actually. Okay, so Sienna ended up. I think that's Sienna. That's weird that that's their, their, little, their little tag. Um, so they ended up being... Um, Number one overall, which is fine. We, you know, whatever. As long as we get a buy in the first round, that's cool. I think we're gonna end up winning these games, but I don't honestly know. Um, we're gonna try to game cast and see how well we actually end up doing. Um, obviously, blew the leaps and bounds simulation blown out of the water because they have ended up going one in twenty nine this year. One ninety nine overall player. They go from one in twenty nine season to a twenty four and six season, which is absolutely ridiculous to me. Hopefully, they can keep it going and make the NCAA tournament, and maybe he'll stay for a little bit, and maybe they can do even bigger things next year. Um, if they get a little bit of a program built around them, who knows? Because they honestly had a pretty successful season this season anyways, and yeah, they ended up taking him out for like the duration of that game. So I guess that's what's ended up happening to him. He's not getting quite the no. He's not averaging like 50 a game because they're taking him out because they're already up big, and they're like, we don't want him to get hurt or anything like that because he's just been absolutely balling out. Who's this, St. Peter's? Yep. I don't think anyone knew who St. Peter's was until last year um, in the NCAA tournament when they ended up... Uh, pulling all the upsets and then the Tar Heels had to knock them down a notch you know what I'm saying so that's that was the only good thing about that so we're gonna absolutely dog St. Peter's obviously Glizzard's at 21 points 10 rebounds what's he at now 29 31 33 he's playing the whole game 36 he played the whole game but one minute 36 points 16 rebounds says seven assists and you're telling me he is not the national player of the year you're out of your mind so we are gonna play Siena which I got a bad feeling about this I think they're actually a really good school and just having one player, maybe they just have him locked down. They have a lot of power forwards, though, so it's kind of surprising to me that they have the power forwards like that and they're still doing it. Maybe we can still make the tournament if we don't win this game, but let's go ahead and win this game. I just want to go ahead and put something into perspective here. There's 24 points that Glizzard Johnson scored. The team only has 36 points. So, obviously, he's the biggest threat on the court. If anybody didn't already know, they should know now. Um, this game's kind of getting down to it, though. It looks like, wow, they ended up pulling out the win. 46-point <laughs> showing. Glizzard was like, they were like, we're not taking him out of this game at all. We are going to win this. We're absolutely winning this. So we did win the conference tournament, which is sick. Um, I want to stop before we start the NCAA tournament so I can take a look at stats one more time. See the National Player of the Year. Went to Georgetown. It always does. Um, I think we won MAC Player. Yep, he won MAC Player of the Year, averaging a ridiculous amount of numbers. Here's your All Americans. He's not listed. Here's your all-defensive. He's not listed. Here's your all-freshman. He's actually listed for that. As far as individual awards go, we got Georgetown. Coach of the year. We are not even up there for coach of the year. That's ridiculous to me. Ridiculous. Absolutely. Mm, excuse me. Ridiculous. Uh, we relisted. We were not even listed for all-defensive. We won freshman of the year, obviously. Um, so maybe next year they can actually like allow him to do that. But until then... Go ahead and hop into this old, uh, this old NCAA tournament. All right, my Tar Heels are listed. That's all I really care about. Where are we at? I don't even know. I think we're the 11th. Yep, we're the 11th seed in Kansas's bracket. So yeah, we're starting off, the, <laughs> starting off against uh, number 22 Louisville, which is probably one of the toughest teams we've played all year long. So can we pull the upset? That's the real question. Can we pull the upset? Go ahead and hop in this game cast against Louisville, and it looks like we're. I just don't see it happening. I really don't. I mean, we're playing really good right now. Glizzard is absolutely showing out. Um, we're up still pretty big, but they could definitely mount. I, I don't know if they're mounting a comeback from this point. I mean, they look like they're trying, but I think it's just too far too gone. And we beat, Louis, we upset Louisville in the first round. That is absolutely incredible. Just to get to face Villanova, Glizzard ended up with 50 points. Bro's dropped a 50 bomb on them. Bro was making everything. He was, like, throwing up any and everything, making everything. Oh, my gosh. That boy's a beast. Uh, just to check, see where Villanova, they are the three seeds. So we did pull the upset. I think we're the only one that, well, we'll see it. We'll we'll get an update as we go further. But let's go ahead and get this game cast against Villanova started. So, yeah, we're starting up this game cast against Villanova. And we're still competing so far. Um, Wizards showing out. But I just don't think we have the dogs to be able to take out this Villanova team. They are just 
very, very good. Although we are definitely, wow, we actually took a lead. We're taking the lead on them. Okay, we're even with them. They're taking back the lead. They're up by a good margin. Okay, I think that, yep, they uh, they held us scoreless for like the last 10 minutes. So, yeah, love to see it. That's okay. We made it to the second round in the NCAA tournament, pulled an upset with one player. One player. That is absolutely insane to me. Like, ah, 33 points. He just wasn't having a good shooting day. That was the problem. And when you rely on one player, that tends to happen. So, yeah, we did pull an upset, but we were not able to take it anywhere past that. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone else really pulled any sort of crazy upsets. I think I saw that score correct, but it looked like it was a pretty bad score for North Carolina. Yeah, they got dogged in the national title game against Ohio State. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Final Four ended up being North Carolina Duke, which is crazy because that happened this year. Uh, and then Ohio State and Michigan State. So that was uh, how the tournament went. Now the real question is, are we going to be able to get Glizzer to return? Because he's obviously going to be the number one draft pick. We're not going to take any more offers. we got to see our boy through. Uh, I think we did end up getting some people. Yep, so we got uh, we actually got a four-star and a three-star recruit. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't see anybody else really leaving. The Big East extended an invitation. Are we going to accept this? Yes, we're going to accept this. Because that's going to make us an even better school unless he leaves um okay never mind he's coming back that's super easy super easy uh you want to transfer cool get out of my face so as you can tell we were actually able to sign a couple people i got this guy in the off season he's a 76 overall shooting guard so he's definitely gonna fit right into the rotation very well as well as, as, well as jeremy houston and we got don elmore who will be playing a crucial backup to our boy glizzard who doesn't really get tired so he probably won't need any help but you never know um you never know and we're actually going to be in the, I believe it was the Big East that they said this year. So we're going to be in the Big East. Um, it might make us not have as good of a record with Glizzard, but we might also do better. Who knows? But ultimately, either way, and we're going to the Old Spice Classic, which is awesome. Um, either way, we're still going to be sitting a lot better than they followed the year up after that, in all honesty. So to end off the first month of the year, uh, we lost one game. And it was to Georgia Tech. We lost 80-60. to 60. Um, absolutely destroyed the Baylor Bears. Glizzard only scored 18 points, though. He kind of left it up to his other teammates to score on those games. Scored 20 there. You can actually tell that his team's getting a little better because he's not doing the bulk of the scoring anymore, but he's still getting his numbers, you know. So he creates that sense of fear that his teams have. We're actually ranked number 18 now, which is absolutely insanity to go from what should have been a 1-29 in year to a 27-6 and six year to now being ranked number 18 in the nation, which is absolutely insane, honestly. Uh, National Player of the Year, he is still not even mentioned, which is crazy to me. Is he on the All-American list? No. All-Defensive? No. Not going to be on the All-Rookie. Yeah, I think that's a little bit crazy that he's still not even up there to be mentioned. Um, I think it's crazy that we're also not up here because we just got a team that was is now going to the Big East, um, you know, to play all these schools. But instead, we're sitting here just not getting looked at like that. So I think he's averaging pretty good numbers too. Yeah, 25 points a game. 10. He's averaging a double double as a sophomore, leading his team to only one loss in the first month, which it, against some pretty like legit opponents. But you know, I'm not the committee, so what do I know? Wrapping up the month of December, we actually did take a second loss to uh, UMass, which I don't understand why. Unless, I mean, he really wasn't in foul trouble. He just didn't have that good of a game. This dude over here is taking all the rebounds. Oh, my gosh. He dropped 31 bomb on uh, Oregon State. Dropped 31 on, uh, who was that? Rhode Island. Brigham Young dropped 29 on him. And he's only he only played 21 minutes. That's the crazy part. He's not even playing that many minutes. 26 minutes, and he scored 26 points. Like, they're letting Don Elmore get in there. Which I kind of don't like that much. Because I feel like Glizzard would do way better if he was the only one. We're still ranked number 20. Hey, this is your daily reminder to check your pride points. Make sure you go check those pride points. Because they definitely do help when it comes down to it. Um, if we're getting a stats update. Player of the year. Oh, he's actually up there finally. He's number two in the running. They finally put him up there. Let's go. The Canadian sensation himself. Look at that headband, man. I know y'all haven't seen it yet. He's just a beast. We'll definitely hop into a game, hopefully into the tournament, maybe. Hopefully we can see a we can see a game into the tournament. But as we get into the Big East, the only quarrel I have with this game is when you switch conferences, they do not give you any rivals, nor do they let you play your rivals that were in previous conferences. 
So it's kind of like a lose. It's kind of a bad situation because you don't have a rival week anymore. But at the same time, it's okay because you're in a better conference and you have more opportunities to excel in your career and obviously be ranked too. Open up the year of December, the year of December, the month of December. Uh, we actually suffered two more losses. We lost to Connecticut by five, which is fine because that's still a solid Connecticut squad. He actually played 37 minutes of that game and ended up losing to Marquette as well. He only played 25 minutes. I feel like if they would have played him for longer, then maybe they would have won that game. But we did get our revenge on Villanova from last year. He dropped 42. He wanted them to make sure they remembered. You know what I'm saying? So we're 17-4, and four, actually ranked number 12 right now. Um, is he – where are we looking? So maybe now that they're actually up there, he might be – yep, so he's in the lead right now for player of the year. That would be absolutely fantastic if we get him a player of the year before he goes pro because he's probably going to go pro. He's on the All-American first team. And he's not on the defensive team, which is kind of crazy to me, but he is at least on that. And is our coach finally getting some recognition? No, he's not. Yeah, I don't even know the name of the coach. Uh, I forget what it is, actually. But I think it was pretty funny. So, um, yeah. Defensive player of the year, is he up there for that, at least? Is he somewhere? Yeah, so he's up there, and I don't know why he's not on the defensive team, but he could end up being defensive player of the year, too. That would be an illustrious career if he was able to do that his sophomore year of college. That would be absolutely crazy to me. Lee enough, we end up being the seven seed, and we finish out 24-6. and six. Uh, We did get absolutely spanked by Georgetown, which I wonder what kind of happened that game, because Goodard, he only scored 16 points, but he had three fouls. I don't know. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah, that guy was, like, player of the year last year, so that kind of makes sense that he got a little bit shut down by him. Um, looking at our stats once again. We're still in the run for the player of the year. I could probably just go there every time now. Coach of the year. Still not in there. Defensive player of the year. We're number three. So that leads me to believe... we Still not on the all-defensive team. I don't know how we can be number three in the race to, all de to defensive player of the year. But still not be on the all-defensive team. That doesn't really make any sense to me. But, once again, I'm not the committee, so who knows. Uh, hopefully this conference tournament goes well for us. We do get a bye. I'm pretty sure we're the one seed. I actually should probably have checked that, but that's fine. We're just going to go ahead and we're just gonna send it, and we're going to beat Syracuse. We did really well in the Big East this year. I think we two to Syracuse. Isn't that some cheese? Yeah. They were the five seed, too. It's crazy. Oh, no, we're the four seed, Connecticut. Hmm. Is Connecticut, like, really good this year? Uh, yeah, Connecticut's number three, Georgetown's number four, and we're number seven. That's So we're in a pretty stacked conference, honestly. Maybe it was maybe it's a good thing, because then maybe uh, maybe that means that we're, I don't know, maybe that means we're going to do better in the tournament, because we were able to play against tougher competition this year than last year. Who knows? Connecticut does end up winning the Big East tournament. Um, they beat Nova. Nova actually upset Georgetown, which is pretty cool, and ACC... Georgia Tech and Maryland, North Carolina getting beat like they usually do in the, in the ACC tournament. But, you know, that's okay. Does it show my guys, does it show player of the year? Yeah, okay. So he did win national player of the year, averaging 27.8 points, 2.4 blocks, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. They're coming confident off of a victory. Individual awards, obviously player of the year. We're still not even mentioned for coach of the year. Georgia Tech guy won Defensive Player of the Year. We actually fell down a bit on that, which is okay. And do we have anybody for uh, Freshman of the Year? No, I didn't think so. So those are the those are the awards for this year. And we're going to go ahead and get right up into the NCAA tournament. Skip on through that. And we're playing Austin Pay in the first round. We were actually sitting at a three seed, yep, in Connecticut. Nah, funny enough, Connecticut's bracket. So, you know, assuming we win this game and the next one, we're probably going to be facing Georgia Tech, which is a little tough. Uh, North Carolina's over there with Kentucky, Kansas. The Duke's in that bracket, Syracuse, as well as Nova. And we got Michigan State, Illinois, Texas, and Georgetown. So hopefully, you know, I'm not really sweating this Austin Pay game. I swear I say that all the time, and then I end up do, I do end up sweating it. Not really sweating it for right now. I think we're going to do pretty well. Uh, yep, we did pick up the dub right there, so now we're playing Tennessee. Once again, not really sweating this Tennessee game until I should be, I guess. Nope, shouldn't have been. Good to go. Ooh, maybe should have been. Um, so now we're playing Georgia Tech. We're going to go ahead and game pass this because I'm not 100% sure we're going to beat Georgia Tech because they are. They did beat us earlier in the year. Um, there's still an opportunity, which I hopefully it'll be a good enough game I can hop into it, but it looks like they're about to take us for a ride. Oh, uh, well, we're still fighting with them, but it looks like, yep, it's coming down to it, and yeah. 
No bueno for us this year in the national title, but we did make it further than last year. We made it to the Sweet 16, but you can't complain about that because, you know, we're Marist. The year prior, we were supposed to go 1-29, in so, yeah, we end up getting beat right there. Kind of curious to see who ends up winning the national title this time. Um, uh, I think I saw Kentucky win the national title. So Connecticut ended up beating Georgia Tech. Kentucky beat UNC. Kansas won. And Texas pulled an upset. And it was Kansas and Kentucky. And yeah, Kentucky absolutely demolished Kansas to win all of it. Oh no, our boy wants to go pro again. But he's coming back. Let's go for the third year. He's coming back for his junior year. You can get on out of my face transferring 64 overall point guard. Did end up having a pretty good recruiting, recruiting class. Uh, we actually have a starting small forward who's a freshman, as well as a starting point guard that's a freshman. And the team's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. I think they're looking actually pretty well. So hopefully this year will be our year. We can finally bring our boy Glizzard Johnson a national title. He's already won player of the year. He's already won... He's just one player of the year, but he's at least done that. You've been watching my content, then you know that Butler is our biggest, biggest pain in the rear end in the Maui. And we finally got invited to the Maui. And we lost. I swear, every time Butler in the Maui in the first round is just unstoppable. We beat Kansas. We beat Kansas. And we beat Alabama. We lost to Butler. I just, mmm. Mm -mm -mm. can't stand that we're number 22 in the nation and by the way if you didn't know and now you do that we have the number two national the number four national the number 61 and about to be the number one recruit in the nation okay so this is going to be an absolutely disgusting recruit quest and this guy's like seven foot four he's literally going to be put in the role to take over for glizzard johnson like there's no denying that this is one of the things i can't stand because now i can't get him i don't have enough recruiting points left and we got ended up getting in a recruiting battle with Georgia Tech, and he's undecided. And our prestige actually falls in line with what he's looking for, so we'll do prestige again. And do some internet research, and that's all we can do. And this guy, I don't really care about him. But we did get those other three recruits locked in, so that's pretty sick. So far, we're 5-1. and one. We're ranked 13th in the nation. And judging by the awards, we're not even up there anymore for player of the year. Not up there for coach of the year either. Big shocker. Defense player of the year? Nah. Freshman of the year? Nope. Probably no awards this year. But the top 25 is looking something like this. We are number 13. We keep falling down because of that one loss, but it is what it is, you know? So you're wondering, here's what our roster looks like right now. Um, he's averaging 23 points a game with nine rebounds. Pretty similar to last year. And yeah, we're doing pretty good. Actually, the sophomore shooting guard is absolutely killing it. Coming off the bench as a six man, so I think they have a they have a pretty solid squad. I would say so. Um, I don't think he's gonna be. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can we finally be coach of the year? Maybe that'd be sick. Nope. They don't love us. It's okay though. It's absolutely okay that they don't love us. But we are ten and one, and we're absolutely demolishing this competition. And check out this game: one hundred and five to one hundred and four in overtime. We beat Michigan. Blizzard scored thirty nine points. With 19 rebounds. What an absolute stud. Finish out the year, we actually ended up only losing to Georgetown and Villanova. And then we ended up beating Georgetown and Villanova later. Where is that? Right there. Do we beat Georgetown later? No, we beat Villanova later, though. So that's good. Uh, yeah, we're the number one team in the country, actually. So, yeah, if you didn't know, now you do. And we got another pride point to spend. We're going to throw that in the weight room. Let's go. Um, recruiting database. Yep, those guys signed elsewhere. I figured that they would. I really did figure they would. Uh, Awards-wise, our boy is player of the year again. Let's go. He won it two times in a row. And we finally got coach of the year. Let's go. Terrence Metcalf's his name. 81-18 and 18 at Marist. What a turnaround. Did not. We're number four on DPOI. Didn't have anybody freshman of the year. But you know what? Number one team in the country. Can't. Can't complain much about that, you know what I'm saying? Can't complain at all. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. I was not expecting us to be the number one team in the country. But since we are, as long as we win the conference tournament, or at least win two games, we should stay as a one seed, and we might actually win a national title this year. We might actually do it. Simulating this game against Notre Dame, can we actually win? Yes, we did. I believe. I'm pretty sure I saw a W, and, we, and I did. 
Uh, so we got Syracuse next. Shouldn't be an issue. The only teams we've lost to are Butler, Georgetown, and Villanova. Syracuse should not be an issue. They're not. And are we going to beat Villanova? This is our third time playing them. We're 1-1 one one so far this year against them. And we lost. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can't stand that. Cannot stand that. We're still number one, though. 29-4. and four. I actually want to see something when we skip into this a little bit. When are you ever going to see that again? Um, we beat two of those teams that are up there. We beat. so we, And we played in their conference. So, um, Yeah. Are we the team to beat is the real question. We are the team to beat. Let's go. That means we're the best. That's awesome. Because sometimes you can be ranked number one and you still won't be the team to beat. But they do think we're the best team in college basketball. That is absolutely amazing. We got our junior, Glizzard Johnson, here on a, coming off of his second player of the year, as well as our coach coming off his first coach of the year, which he should have gotten last year. Actually, should have gotten the first year, but we'll take it this year. I mean, in all honesty, we'll take it this year. We're going to beat Alabama AM. and That should be a pretty easy matchup, I feel like. We did. We torched them. Can we beat Maryland? Can we beat the Terrapins? We're going to find out pretty quick if we did or not. And we did. And we're going up against Michigan State. We're going to go ahead and game cast this because we have not made it out of the Sweet 16 yet. What a time it would be to make it out of the Sweet 16. We actually have four freshmen. Just kidding, four freshmen. We have, uh, I think it's two or three freshmen in our starting lineup, though. And we're looking a little bit rusty, not going to lie, against Michigan State. This is kind of scaring me a little bit. But as long as we keep a lead, I think we should be... Oof, that game's getting close. And we do end up pulling it out by four points. To go on to face the UCLA Bruins. If this game gets too close, we're, you know, we're going to hop into it. And it looks like... It looks like it's going to be a close game unless we can go ahead and start putting the points up, but it looks like Blizzard's doing his thing, so we might end up hopping into this game anyways. Actually, no, because this is the Elite Eight game. I'd like to hop into a Final Four or the title game if we can make it there, which we definitely did. So, we're facing oof, Georgia Tech. We do not have a good history against Georgia Tech. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get right up into this game, and then we're going to just hop in and see if we can... Uh, See how we do against them. Here's how this tournament shaping up so far. They're the sixth seed. And don't tell me my North Carolina. We're the only one seed that made it. Don't tell me I have to beat my own Tar Heels. Don't tell me that. We had an all. We beat all chalk, bro. They had Virginia upset Villanova. Are you kidding me? Duke got upset. Texas and Arkansas. Arkansas beat. Oh, man, that's crazy. So Arkansas is in it. Michigan upset Kentucky, dude. They are why the, the, the one seeds are dropping like flies this year. And Connecticut got upset by Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech come out of nowhere. That's really scary. That is that is extremely scary because I thought this was gonna be our year. And oh my gosh, Georgia Tech is not playing around this year. Okay, well we looks like we halted their like advances a little bit. Um, we might end up okay. So I think okay, I think we got this game. This game, I mm, they're cutting it close again. All right. Don't love that. All right. We're going to go ahead and hop into this game. All right. We're hopping in. We're not playing, remember. Look at our boy. Look how tall he is. That Canadian sensation is just a tree. And he gets a foul immediately. Come on, man. Look how big that boy is. No wonder he's winning player of the years. That man, look at the muscle definition on that kid. Oh, my gosh, dude. This guy is a beast. This is not looking good to me. And I really hope they don't start calling timeouts because that's just going to be so annoying. And they always do that. I wish I, I wonder if I could turn that off. Kind of sweet because I got a fat... Oh, he got the rebound though. And we're going to kick it out. We're driving down the court. I would sit on this ball if I were them. Get it down to... I would get it to Glizzard. And I think that's what they're looking to do. No? Okay, they're going to take a shot. He gets blocked. Georgia Tech has the ball. Still up four. Georgia Tech is driving though. Kick it out. Kick it number one. Dribble, dribble, dribble. They both have six timeouts because, once again, when you hop into a game, they keep everything. And there's only one foul right now. So, Oh, don't know who got their hands on that, but, oh, who's getting it? There's old Terrence Metcalf looking as serious as ever. So they ended up getting that ball back. Still down four. They're going to need to put some, uh, they're going to need to put some, some balls in some baskets if they want to do anything here. And they get the one to go. Marist is now choking this game away with a minute 30 left, and now Georgia Tech is within two points. Look at Glizzard setting that screen. 
Kick it to him. Give it to Glizzard. Oh, he's taking the jump shot. He misses it. He missed it. Oh my gosh, Georgia Tech is coming down now. Glizzard, I need you to get into this game, bud. If you want to win a national title, you need to get in this game. Sheesh. Playing terrible right now. Are they running the zone? And it's a tie game. Tie game with 59 seconds left. Tie game. Um, yeah, not loving that. Not loving that idea. Oh, they kick it down low. And he makes it. Let's go. Driving. Driving. And another foul. And one. Oh, my gracious. That is no bueno. That is absolutely no bueno. Ah, we don't love that. We genuinely do not love that. They're getting caught in the trap right now. Down by one point. They need to go ahead and get the ball up court and go ahead and get a good basket. They need to kick it to kick it to our boy. They really do. Can we get it to? Nope. That's not who we wanted to get it to. Oh. Oh, he's going to the line. Hopefully this won't be too bad on him right here. Hopefully he can go ahead and put this one in. Oh, clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Glizzard so far is disappointing me because he's really not doing anything. Um, yeah. Kind of disappoint me, buddy. He makes the second one. 24 seconds left. They got the press, and they're going to call a timeout. All right, back in the action here. Those timeouts take forever, by the way. Luckily, you guys don't have to see them. Good to the good old power of editing. Are they going to hold the ball and throw up a shot? Glizzard, I need you to do something here. He missed it. Glizzard got the rebound. Oh, they're just going to... Ooh, this might be it. This might be it. Because they're going to have to keep fouling. This might be it. Because they... Well, actually... No, because they hadn't picked up any fouls yet. Marist had picked up fouls. They might run themselves out of clock right here, honestly. This is the one annoying part about this game. So you guys probably won't see any of this, but... All right, so he's finally to the line. Um, Dante Kimball shooting 77%. They have 3.9 seconds left now. Okay, made the first one. We just need to make this next one and pray that we don't go to overtime. Because Georgia Tech was definitely back on our coattails. They're going to probably call a timeout here. Yep, I knew. All right. Georgia Tech has the ball with 3.9 seconds left. What are they going to do? They're getting trapped. They have no time. He throws up a shot. Oh, I thought that went in. Let's go, baby. We're moving on to the championship game. Let's go. Look at Glizzard. He knows it. They're moving on. Let's go. Let's go. We end up beating Georgia Tech, and we're facing the North Carolina Tar Heels in the national title game. Oh, my gracious. What a team to face. What a team to face. And I bet you we end up, well, it's pretty close so far. Are we going to win this, though? That's the real question. It's really close. Uh-oh. Tar Heels are taking back on us now. Oh, it's still really close. Heels are up three with eight seconds to go, and the Tar Heels ruin our chances and become national champions. Oh, glizzard, Glizzard, Glizzard. I'm so sorry. We were so close. We were so close. Ah, oh, can't even believe that happened. But hey, guess what? We got some pretty deep, uh, pretty good recruits. Pretty deep recruits. Pretty good recruits. So maybe we'll have one more year if Glizzard decides to come back. He's going pro, he says. Oh. Are they not even going to let me... I can't persuade him back? Oh, they're not even letting me persuade him back. They're not letting me persuade either of these guys. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to try one more day. No, they're not letting me. I mean, I'm literally hitting the A button, and they're not even giving me the opportunity to bring either of these guys back. So, well, I guess that's farewell from good old Glizzard Johnson. Um, I didn't even know you could do that. That's pretty crazy. Player stats. Season. He finished this year with 33 games played, 33 started, 26 points per game, and we brought Maris to a national title game. Uh, honestly, I'd say that's pretty successful if I were to venture to say those words, you know. <laughs>
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, sorry for the terrible face cam quality. I promise I have one on the way and it's going to be even better. But we did end up taking Maris. Instead of going 1-29, in they ended up actually making the tournament, making the tournament again, and then making it to the national title game. So you can't ask for much more than that. Thank you guys so much. If you liked the video, make sure you like it and subscribe. Appreciate it once again. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day.